In the previous videos, we have looked at two different types of knot, the Windsor knot and the four and a hand knot. We're gonna be looking at a third type of knot, the Cavendish knot. I am Angelo and I am the CEO and founder of the Roma 1980. I use the Cavendish knot mainly to solve issues related to the length of my tie relative to the band of my trousers or if I want to have a bolder four and a hand looking knot to feel the spread of my shirts better. Let's have a look at it. Baby, you give me ice and fire. First of all, we need to make sure that the tie is long enough to perform this type of knot. It starts just like a Windsor knot, as you can see. For the Windsor knot, you would just go left, you would just wrap it around as I'm doing now and go back into the loop. But this is a Cavendish knot, so we do it the other way. We go right, wrap it around instead, go into the loop, outward, and then pop into the knot. And now it's all about the magic of the dimple. At this point, all I'm doing is making sure that I make this knot look crisp, sharp, neat, symmetrical as much as you can because it's not a Windsor knot so four and a hand knot, Cavendish knot are never as symmetrical as a Windsor knot that's what you get I hope you found this video informative and helpful if you got any questions feel free to drop me a direct message on Angelo Di Roma 1980 on Instagram or you can send me an email on angelo at theroma1980.net Ciao a tutti, stay dapper and subscribe to my channel Baby.